Glorious Goodwood will kick off week 8 then, and we'll start off with a 9.5 furlong handicap, 3.65 handicap, and the top one is Dandery Note for Craig Allen, Envious, Joshua Sutherland, San Diego there, Vinnie Gerard, Barwell beside David Robertson, Galanetta Blizzard, Darren Thompson, Shaw's a Dream, David Hooley, Thornton Quid, David Robertson, San Diego Fury, Vinnie Gerard, Romantic Miller, Martin Leedham, Shimmerlight, Jim Murray, Gunrunner and Zagalini's Baldini for Dan Hughes, Jungle Jane, Daniel French, Sun Goes Dan, Martin Leedham, Scaly Paloma, Graham Clutterbuck, When Doves Cry, Padraig Hogan, Cato Regarded, Steve Rannan, Munir Edition, Thomas Rogers, so 18 then, big field to kick the week off, and away we go. Spread right across the track, and Zagalini's Baldini down on this near side is the early leader with San Diego Fury in the green, and then uh, Thornton Quid in the hoops is going to come through now with a yellow cap to just about take it up, I think. Then so racing down into the final mile, San Diego Fury going to try and get to the fence before they take the turn, and San Diego Fury is in the lead from Munir Edition in second. And Kato Regardi and Galanetta Blizzard is after that one. Then Thornton Quinn when Doves Cry Shimmer Light and San Diego there. And we've got uh, Envious making a bit of a forward move as well, looking towards the back. Scaly Paloma is the back marker, but San Diego Fury is the clear leader at the moment from Kato Regardi in second. Then comes the New Year edition and San Diego there, and then when Doves Cry. And then after that one is Shorter Dream and Dandery Note as they begin this swing into the straight. One or two of these caught wide have got absolutely no chance now. It's San Diego Fury in the lead from Munir edition in second then San Diego there, Kato regarded still going well, then Dandery notes Zagalini's bold in, he's lost his place on the inside Barwell besides also there, Shorter Dream's going to need a dream split, but San Diego Fury is still clear by three but now Kato regarded comes through Zagalini's bold in, he's now got a second win and he's coming through right over on the far side Galanetta Blizzard the grey, he's going really well as well, but it's San Diego Fury at the three pole, San Diego Fury in front, from in second, Zagalini's bold in, Kato regarded, Jungle Jane is going down a challenge now. Thornton Quid still there as well, looking towards the back of the field. There's one or two not got into it yet. Envious is really struggling, but it's San Diego Fury in front. San Diego Fury in with a furlong and a half to go. San Diego Fury is in the lead from Zagalini's Baldini. Barwell beside Dandery Note. Cato regarded New Year Editions trying to run on, but it's still San Diego Fury inside the final furlong from Zagalini's Baldini in second. Then Dandery Note and Barwell beside San Diego Fury. Zagalini's Baldini racing them towards run. Can San Diego Fury hang on? Yes, he can. San Diego Diego Fury wins it, Zagalini's bowled in his second, Dandry note third, then Barnwell beside, and Galinetta Blizzard. And a few didn't get into that at all, especially some other ones that were caught wide on the turn. But San Diego Fury got out early and got to the, got to the fence and stayed there. So San Diego Fury for Vinnie Gerard made all, didn't it? And Zagalini's bowled in for Dan Hughes on a big race in second. Dandry note for Craig Allen was third, and in fourth when it comes back down again we'll have a look and we'll see it was Barwell beside for David Robertson and Galanetta Blizzard for Darren Thompson was fifth let's have a look and see if we can see where the ones who were really stuck out wide and he didn't get a lot of help with them but San Diego Fury was drawn nine but got out quickly and got right across to that fence and that's what made the difference